Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Pritchard of Us to the channel. My name is Martin Docker and I make videos in a slightly new free fashion. And today is the second episode of the How to Play series. And we looked at autoloaders in the first episode, and this one is going to be about light tanks. Four games again. Slightly longer video than you are used to. Uh, I usually have three games in a video, about 10 to 15 minutes in total. This is this one is a bit longer, but yeah, I think it needs it. Why is that? I can go into more depth, into more explaining what is happening. And there's just a lot of good material coming my way, and, and this way I can show you more games. There's two top tier games, two bottom tier games as well. And we are looking at, at Voon 35 in the Leichter Kampfpanzer M91 Fizi, the Cruel Twist, and that tank has got hip rounds, high explosive plastic, which uh, penetrates 102 uh, <laughs> if you use calibrated shells, and that means that you can really pump the back end of a Yard Tiger. And the heat shells um, can work as well, AP will do. But even the size of a yard type, but look at that, with high explosive plastic, 291. And what Foon has done here is play the tank, the light tank, as an aggressive scout slash medium tank. Light tanks, if you play World of Tanks PC or console, have the distinct role of needing to spot. They retain their camo rating while they are on the move, but uh, if they fire it drops completely, which is of course logical. But these tanks are able to pack a camouflage net and binox if you drive the tanks on PC and on console. What you do have to take into account is the fact that Wargaming have slightly different ideas about the role of light tanks in Blitz. Light tanks in Blitz are not primarily meant to scout. It may sound stupid and uh, as a bit of a paradox, but they are not primarily meant to scout. They are mostly meant as quick tanks, as fast tanks. And there will probably be dislikes on this video when people say, well, what? And it's a light tank and you should scout. You should go up front and spot for me because I'm a tank destroyer. Yes, that is one role that this tank can do. And Voon35 has done that. He ordered the Type 61 to go into uh, A cap, capture it because it is supremacy. And he's relocating, as you can see. And all the roles are going to be in this video. The light tank is a tank that can pick its engagements. And this ST1, he, he would have gone down anyway to the boss, but he was probably thinking, what's happening over here? Why can't I shoot this tank? Can I just go forward? No, he's able to penetrate me, and Fu gets his great shot in onto the charioteer, finishes him off, switches to AP on the turret. No, 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 drop down then, save a mom from the WZ111. And he realizes that he can get the shot in on a chariot here now because that tank has it just fine. Uses a hap again, an HV round, and then he does this go forward and left, drop down, and shoot him on the move. And the WZ misses, <laughs> and he's not happy. And Foon is, he's used a lot of hap rounds, but yeah, if you can do that. If you have that situation awareness, then by all means do it because you can just rack up the damage and also make a fair bit of credits because it's it's a cheap ass round. And like I said, Voon used the tank as an, uh, as an aggressive scout. Went to one flank, noticed there was nobody there. He had some support, so he decided to go in for the kill. A rip a simple man however notices that the two mediums on his team are not moving yet so he he's always he might be just a simple man but he's also a wise man and he decides not to do anything yet 30 seconds have passed one of the mediums is moving there's a heavy tank on the rail tracks as you can see but yeah there's 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 no need to go 
in all guns blazing yodo rumble mode style and then actively die as you are spotting as you are scouting you just just don't why would you want to do that it's it's completely unnecessary because you might be a light tank yes you have great mobility yes you have camel rating um, that stays while you keep driving unless you shoot and then your camel rating drops but that bulldog on the red team you can see that he is pushing straight into basically all the red guns which are the green guns uh, we are looking at but I don't think that's the best of ideas it can be fun to go around but on a map like this where you have a lot of topography and a lot of houses and buildings that's, that's not the best of ideas and simple man is being a bit reckless the uh, Leichte Kampfpanzer and Mine 90 mm he clears one of his tanks and they have lost the flank partly they've lost C cap and simple man has got a lot of work to do he clears the panzer together with the IS-3 and is then ready to shoot the Challenger over here there we go yes one shot into the Challenger no problem whatsoever it's a three first six but then again, he's in a T-54 lightweight, and there are a, a fair few slowish tanks on the red team. That I-6 is going to be the main problem, and it's now a 2 on 5. There is the Kampfpanzer again, who rushes in, is thinking, right, I've got HAP, I can do this, and then he makes a cardinal mistake. He stops behind the building, does not rush. Simple man, he does not go in against the I-3. He probably should have gone to the left side of the house uh, and maybe even a little bit towards the other side. Just run another ring and then live to fight another day. And now he didn't. And <laughs> Simple man, he's got very, very strong tracks. <laughs> he's very lucky that the smasher is shooting. He then and he bounces another one on a front plate because there are tanks. Uh, most tanks in the game are indeed light tanks, but some tanks are uh, a, a bit less light <laughs> than others. And the T-54 lightweight, quote-unquote lightweight, is one of them. That tank bounce shots like heavy tanks at, at, at a tier lower. It, it's just, it's ridiculous. It, it's, it's not a light tank in, uh, if you look at the armor profile. It, goes around way too quick compared to say the RU-251 it weighs more than RU-251 yet it has a better power to weight ratio but it is a light tank and as such has a place in this guide a simple man is doing the right thing here by running around moving around a bit lucky with a track shot on at AT-15 and then he leaves the AT-15 because he realizes that the smasher over here that's another tank to shoot oh, my God. smasher is burning that's good but Reds are on 820 now. He does know where both tanks are. The AT-15 is around B cap. The Smasher is also around B cap. And they are probably thinking now, that guy's going into the desert. He will want to guard A. Oh no, 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 he isn't. He's just going to recapture C. And light tanks can do stuff like this. You can run away from a heavy tank from a slow tank destroyer like the AT-50 you can keep running away and if you do that then you can dictate what is happening in that regard tanks like this <laughs> in that regard this tank class is uh, is the most flexible one you can be uh, you can be a medium tank from time to time you can be a heavy tank if you run in T-54 lightweight you can be a tank destroyer. You have got tanks like an AMX 1375 or a 1390 where you have a three shot auto loading um, magazine that allows you to do 480 or I think maybe even 600. Yes, yes, indeed. AMX 1390 with the Top Gun does 225 per shot. Three shots in the magazine means a burst damage capability of 675. If you then take a look at the hit points of a T-54 lightweight, 1250, that means that if you time your run correctly, you can dump 675 damage into a T-54 lightweight, and if you time it correctly and run around collect correctly, you can probably get away with it while not being shot at in return. 
And this is a great thing to do if you are aware of what is happening. And we're going to look at Pixel Donkey now, who is platooned with uh, Tanky the Blitzbot. And Tanky the Blitzbot is actually in this tank, and Pixel Donkey is platooned with him in the VK2801. And this is one of these auto loading French light tanks. And uh, Tanky the Blitzbot is using the tank at first in a scouting role. I've cut the beginning out of the game because he told his team chaps don't go a do not go a there are a lot of big guns on the red team they have an su-152 they got an su-100 why do not go there if these tanks mess up and maximize firepower we will be in trouble Luckily, one of his teammates uh, is in a tank destroyer all by himself with no support, <laughs> as you can see on the minimap. And that tank is about to get flanked and spanked. And it's going to have some repercussions in the game. And I have no idea why Tanky the Blitzbot is spotted now and where he was spotted from. That has to be a thing that SP will see. Maybe in one of these bushes over here. Just a very thin line of sight available, maybe something to do with, and he spotted again, maybe something to do with, I don't know, crew skills, etc. However, Pixel Donkey is in uh, a bit of a problem because he's being harassed by this uh, shrieking one shot into him. Two shots, and another one, yes, that's how you want to play an auto-loading light tank. 442 damage dealt, none taken in return. And Tanky the Blitzbot stops for a full reload he can keep rolling away just and uh, just go 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 yes shoot the su-100 why and the su-100 is thinking why track him yes no, no he has a track but he can't track him and yes he shoots him again lovely stuff 928 dealt none taken in return but now <laughs> things are going to look a bit pear because of uh, this Dude. Why? Ram an issue 100 why? It's, it's, it's a bad idea. The box tank is strong. The box tank is very heavy. Do not ram an issue 100 why unless you are another heavy tank. And this is a uh, yeah, lucky slash unlucky. The KV2 shot AP and not HE, which would have penetrated and maybe then uh, one shot killed uh, Tanky the Blitzbot. But that AP round cost him two thirds of his health. So we've seen T54 <laughs> lightweight, which has a lot of armor, and then we saw uh, Tanky the Blitzbot. Oh, great shot! Only 30-75. Did I mention you have to be situationally aware yet? Yeah, reload here, reload mate. Open the ammo selector bar. Double tap on the icon of the ammo. Then you will have three shots left in the magazine. You would have had three shots already. And only he still doesn't reload. Oh, this reload, reload. Yes, finally. You would have had three shots already, but for some reason he didn't reload. If you drive uh, a tank like this on your Mac or on your PC, you have to press C to reload, which uh, may be counterintuitive uh, because R would be more logical in terms of R stands for reload, but then you will uh, press C uh, to reload to, uh, I don't know, come again, something like that. But Blitzy has reloaded two shots left in the magazine, together with that Hellcat, uh, one shot into the back of the KV-1, two, and another shot, yes, there we go. This is great stuff, two tanks are left, but it's an SU-152 and an SP-1C, and he's on a full, full reload, and he's being chased by an SP-1C. Oh, don't, 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 don't bump into the wall, no, yes, great stuff. He runs away, he does not bump into the wall. And he moves forward. And then stops and turns on the spot, make them think that he is running somewhere else, and then go just to the position you have come from. That means you will probably probably make the enemy think that you've gone somewhere else. That's what you want to do because he's got three shots and takes a shot that he was willing to take that one. 225, not ideal, not ideal, but considering the circumstances, he was able to take out an SB1C. And if you then have to take a shot, yeah, just just why not? Yeah, get B, Japan. No, if you get B, then the SU 152 will know where you are. Hopefully, he can capture C, cap before they start capturing his 
friendly base. A A A T. No, no, it's not. He has to go in there. He has to get in there. All guns blazing, Yolo Rumble mode style. Is he has to put them all up against the wall. Nothing he can do, and he can't go through B cap because if he does that, the SU-152 will know from which way he's coming. And that SU-152 has got a big gun sticking out of the front. So ideally. To face him. Yes, flank indeed. You want to shoot him up the ass or in the side through the butt cheek. And that's when I think, when I thought it would have maybe been better if he had not dropped the speed boost just yet. And he does spot the IG 152, the SG 152, but it's just a little bit too late. Don't climb into him. Track shot, yes, and then he burns. Oh, yes, 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 yes. No, what has happened? No. Heartbreaking defeat. Tanky the blitz bot. Played it like an absolute boss. This is how you have to play the AMX 12T. How you have to play any type of auto loading light tank, but it just wasn't enough. And Pixel Donkey, why you ran the SU 100? Why? Wasn't necessary. If you hadn't done that, they probably would have won. Right, and then on to the main course. The RU251 at Normandy. And this is another role that you can play. This is indeed the scouting role. And before you will say, Dude, this guy, this Och30, why is he playing so cautiously? Well, look at the team. Look at what they are doing. There's one light tank moving up. There's a tank destroy in spawn. Probably not doing anything. There's a tank destroyer near spawn 3, together with a medium tank. Nobody is moving. And there's only one red... Uh, so two, two red tanks spotted now. And Och can get a shot in on the KV-3, and then he rolls back just to be sure if he's spotted or not. No, he's not. That's an AMX 1390. Some support. Great stuff. And finally, his team is moving up. And once your team starts moving up, there's a few things you can do, but I'm going to give you two options to make it more manageable. You can go forward on that flank, spot everybody, and then maybe run into three big guns, because there's, there's a lot of big guns on the red team. They have a chariot here, they have a Borsig, I think. If you run into those big guns, even an RU or a T-54 high weight, 9 out of 10 times they will not save this. And as you want 52, there's also a big gun. And you can see that Watch is playing this as the spotter. This is the traditional role of a lighting. Just keep spotting, trying to figure out what is happening. Oh, hello, I see. Have you spotted me? No, you haven't spotted me. You have not spotted me. And he's you. Yes, that's what he wanted to know. He is providing flank security as well. Because light tanks and World of Tanks Blitz are not primarily meant to scout. Watch is doing that, but these are not meant to just scout and spot. They are meant as fast tanks. And Watch is sizing up the competition. His team is in the middle, in the trenches, bogged down over there. And then he realizes, help the ISU. We probably said hell ISU or FCK ISU or KFC ISU. I don't know what he says. It gets censored. But he's on his way to help the ISU. And he loads the HAP rounds as well. The Leichte Kampfpanzer and Manifizi. That one has got HAP rounds and so does the RU-251. And if you penetrate them, then you would do loads of damage. But if you don't penetrate them, then you might be better off shooting AP. Um, but then again, he's got some help. Look at the minimap. He, he, he realizes that he's slightly on his own. Ever so slightly, but he also has some help from... Uh, what's that? The Wi-Fi Firefly? Yes, you are you the one? Yeah. Yeah, and then <laughs> Ram and Jim for commission. But he's got some help. He noticed that on the minimap. Then he runs away to make the ISC, who's probably still coming up from the beach, think that he's running somewhere else. And he rolls in to spot the I-3 again. Where is that tank? Is he... Well... Oh, oh hello there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Run away, mate. Run away. No, he's not going to run away. He's going to power slide around. There we go. Shoot the I-3 once. And on to the back. Load the head rounds again. And... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's so nice, hell, Wi Fi Firefly. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! Look at that. Yes, you can cliff dive, but it, it, you're not supposed to, to, to die if you do that. Anyway, anyways, I should just try to run around, getting shots in on the IC. Turns a great shot into the back of the IC because you can use high explosive plastic rounds on the back of a tier eight heavy tank for a really big roll. But then again. Using AP will work just as well. And player underscore <laughs> number thingy is down, thanks to the concerted effort of Watch30 and uh, the player in the Wi Fi DLC Biss. Great work, mate. <laughs> Cliff diving. Like a dive bomber. Anyways, Watch has uh, got some problems now because the boss is on his team overcommitted. He decided to go in against the KV-3 and the T-44 and a... What's a challenge or chariot here? Oh, it's a challenge, it's not a chariot here. But Arch is on his way, he does not manage to save the Borsig and he bounces his shot on the KV-3 who just in time hides behind the uh, the rock, bounces his shot on the side armor and then the Borsig is being very mad again. Report you to 51. Yes, mate. No, he's playing this to perfection. He's got to clear the KV3. There we go. And then he runs off again. And he kind of knows already that he will probably be spotted by the KV3. So rather than sit there and wait it out, he decides to run away. And this is. He's playing this on a PC. I do, I know that um, from a few shots that are coming up very soon. Uh, the shot on the T44, this one, this is auto lock, and then shoot, there we go. And then another one as well. And yes, there are people who think, oh, all, the, all, these, all these PC re replays. Well, this is light tank gameplay to perfection. And yes, he's using the speed and he's using the way that this tank can really lock on. But look at this driving around the Challenger. The Challenger doesn't have really good turret traverse. The Challenger is doing the right thing, by the way, by reversing back into Orch, and, but then he can keep reversing it and kill the Challenger anyway. And he gets a great kill. He gets a great game in over there. And this concludes also the episode. The episode of how to play World of Tanks Blitz will look at the roles of light tanks. You can actively spot, you can use them as a bit of a makeshift medium tank or a tank destroyer. But above all, you have to be map aware, pick your engagements. Light tanks and World of Tanks Blitz are meant as fast tanks. They, those are words from uh, World of Tanks themselves, from the Blitz crew themselves. So might take that into account. My name is Martin Dogger, thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers, happy tanking.